Okay, welcome to the tutorial for Code HS Intermediate, lesson 5.8, which is the don't repeat yourself principle. The whole purpose of this lesson is to try to avoid putting more code than necessary. So if you can be more efficient, you don't want 100 rules if you could do it with 20. So that's mainly what this focuses on, different ways that you might do that. So we're going to start with the first exercise. Again, you're expected to watch the video, answer the quiz, look at the example. So this first exercise, managing change. <clears throat> and for this particular example, I have actually already worked through it. I was helping a student with it earlier in a class and had to go in and play around with it myself. So it is actually done. The only changes that were needed in this file happen in the style.css. So what I'm going to do is just show you the changes I made. So that is the entirety of my file. So the unordered list item, I don't believe I changed anything there. If memory serves correctly, maybe I took something out. Um, but I'm just going to kind of go through. So there's the UL code final the body, then the styles for the button, so our A, then the list item is just a margin and a font size. I do recall taking out some background color and text color there. And then the featured tag. And there may even be a place where I could condense even more. But at this point, I'll just start with the top. So you can just pause your uh, pause this video. Just kind of update it with your screen. But that should work. We click Submit and Continue. And we get all of the green check marks. All right, we get into the next one. And again, this one has already been done. This is more of me reviewing an answer key, uh, which may be easier and less time consuming for you. So with this one, all of the TH dot impression and TD dot renaissance, there was no need for all that. We just need all the headings to be bolder, font size 22. So we just do that with a table heading. We need all of the data to be white. I just noticed my data is not white, so I need to figure out why that's not working. I did just catch that, so we'll fix that. But the background colors are good. I did get all green check marks. I don't know if that's a code HS issue. But let me go to my index. So again, not sure why that table data isn't working right now. It did work when I tested it out. I'm getting the check mark, so there's probably something going on with code HS that should take care of it. And then just the class on top of it just affects the background color. Um, so anyway, we should be good to go. And I may have something in my index that is causing that error. All right. Anyway, though, we did have the check boxes. All right, then this last one is just kind of getting you to reflect. Um, so why do you want to avoid repeating yourself? Um, honestly, this is easier to do from the beginning. It is a lot more difficult to look at somebody else's code and then try to figure out ways to avoid repeating yourself, which is what you had to do in these exercises. So in general, just think about what you want to do with your page. 
try to organize things accordingly with your style rules. At the end of the day, if you wind up with some double code here and there, it's not the end of the world. You just want to avoid unnecessary repetition. All right, and this concludes the video on lesson 5.8.